right, so we're checking out the only game that takes a delicious three-dimensional game like Wildlife Park 3 and makes it snort Minecraft dust. It's Zoo Constructor. I don't really know what else to say. I guess it's pretty charming. You have glorious derp giraffes like this in a slightly blockular fashion. I have a plan for today. I was going to do it originally in Wildlife Park 3, but I figured since this came out, we would try it here. New game, damn it. So my plan is I'd like to make a park where people can come in, but they can't get out. Not sure how easy that is to do. What is this locky thing? I don't know. Maybe it's just the maps that are already unlocked. All the unlimiteds, damn it. I like how there's a tool tip. <laughs> for the increase and the decrease, but there's still nothing that actually says what park level does. Welcome everyone to Florida, where old people and animals come to die. Oh damn, you can mess with the terrain in this version too? Okay. Now that I know I can make rock formations like this, I think it may be easier to keep people in than I thought. Okay. So the idea is, is that people are going to come in, they're going to drop off the wall, and then because they're not smart enough to take anything but the path, they won't be able to get back out. Also, I have to... What the hell is this? Is this a bird? It is. It's a parrot. If I start time, does it move around? Mother of God, it does. What in the holy hell is this? What is this? Did I find a diamond formation? What the hell? Fern 899? The ground is too hard. Yeah. Anyone else? Any other ferns have any problems? Hmm? Anyone? Any issues with the ground hardness? No? I didn't think so. I'm gonna use some of these metal fences. See, we're gonna do something different here. Instead of, uh, instead of the animals being kept in cages, it's gonna be the people that are kept in cages. See, basically, they're not gonna be allowed to leave. Looks like I can kind of jank this down this way like it's no big deal. Freaking sweet. I do want a little bit of area for the human beings to kind of, like, peruse around and stuff. Ooh, look at all this wildlife. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you can, like, you can chain destroy the environment with this tool. Hey, 505, how does it feel knowing that your life is only worth one dollar? All right, we made a sad little perimeter here for our human test subjects to stay within. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna f uh, feed and water them like appropriate plants. What do we have here for them? Oh, a cocktail bar. There's nothing great likes more than a full liquor bar. I may even put two of these down. To be fair, we're gonna need ATMs because even if they're trapped here, I need to make sure that they have plenty of money to spend. In fact, you know what? Use the ATM before you get trapped. This way you think you're gonna be having a good time before everything goes to hell thanks to Gray. Put that right there. Perfect. I don't know how much this stuff crashes, so let me just save real quick. I really appreciate that the same genetic pool is used for all of my staff members. The only people that get to sit outside of the fence are like the keepers and stuff, because in order to, to keep the stars of the show, the animals alive, I need someone out there doing their thing. I'm not gonna lie, if some of these things didn't tell you what they were, I would never know. Like, this just looks like a, a vat of lava. This kind of looks like a deconstructed cheeseburger. This just looked like cement. I... I never would have thought that this was a fishbowl. <laughs> All right, let's get some animals up in here. Oh, they look just fantastic. <laughs> oh God, I love lions. Let's put a few of these down. Gazelles are almost always required just to give the lions something to like get cardio on. So we'll put down a couple of gazelles out here too. There we go. How do y'all feel about that? Do you, do you things move? Are you programmed to like wander around and stuff? Hold on. Here we go. What in the hell's going on over here? There's no sex yet. You need to, you need to chase after the gazelles first. Wow. The gazelles could just super saiyan right up the side of the wall. Sure. The entry fee is one chunklet. Are you freaking serious? Come on now. Hey keeper, get your ass over there. There's stuff to do. That's it. Well done. Yes. Toss that baby vomit in there. Perfect. The gazelles are gonna- holy Jesus, this guy is fast. Oh, we have our first scumbags. Look at them slowly waddle along. Now, as long as this works appropriately, and they don't break their legs, they should be able to fall right off this- uh? Falling ill with malnutrition, what the hell, you just got here? I've got a meat bowl and everything. Eat up. All right, here we- hold on. We got ourselves a whiner. Bam. I don't want the people to see any of the, uh, the environment over here acting inappropriate. Okay. Now, are you, are you freaking kidding me? I can fire the grandma? I didn't really think I had hired her. Oh. Oh, I can grab people and move them. Oh, it's perfect. Yes. Okay, this is, this is gonna be a lot easier than I thought. Where do you think you're going there, little Susie? Get your ass in the park. Lion 2 has died of exhaustion? <laughs> Hold on. 
<laughs> the animals are still dying of exhaustion in this game. Are you, we still haven't gotten past the exhaustion. But you know, you're like a free little animal. A free gecko. I can't believe that I have to move the lions. Like right on top of the food. It's right there. Just eat it. Put down a few climbing trees because why not? Keep moving all the people inside of my pen area over here. Wouldn't want, wouldn't want any getting away. More decorations would be great. Seriously? I might as well cater to my prisoners. <laughs> Statue of Liberty. Oh, there's gonna be justice for all. Hold on. There. Y'all friggin' happy now? Now go get yourself a nice martini over here. Hold on, some of the grasses are still being dicks. Let me get rid of all this. Can't see many animals around here. Hold on. This lion's body is still just laying over here. Like, is there anything I can do with this? Or do I just have to wait for another animal to clean this up? Has died of exhaustion. What a bunch of lies. There. Here's some bison. Everybody likes bison. Jesus! All the bison are trying to drink at exactly the same time. Hold on now, guys. Don't push in line over here. You know, one at a time over at the... You know, there's two. There's two watering areas. You guys can split them up if you want. It's pretty clear that we need more places for people to spend money. A Jeep coin ride. Okay. There. This way, three children can be happy all at once. Put an ice cream booth right next to this. Is there someone in the way? Is there a reason I can't put this ice cream booth down? Is it because of you, you friggin' bird? Is it your problem? To sell your ass. Yep. It was the parrot. Part of me wanted to do this without having anyone be able to use the restroom. But I, I don't... I, I, I want to get more people in here first, I think. I'm really kind of curious how many people I can get inside of this park before it breaks the game. What the hell is going on up here? How come, like, every gazelle in the entire universe decided to jump on top of this little area? Has fallen ill with malnutrition. Ten feet away from you. Food. 10 feet away. I like that everyone's so excited considering they can't actually leave. What happens if they run out of money? Does it stay like run out forever or does it eventually somehow rejuvenate? It's not like they have a way to make money because they can't leave. Gotta put some Cristo Redentors in here. <laughs> yes, everyone, feel free to enter. Cristo Redentor says it's safe, so it must be. Gazelle 3 has fallen ill with dehydration. It just rained. And there's water areas right over here. Gazelle 3 has died of a disease. It's not even very specific. Oh, there's the body. Just hold on. Can I, am I allowed to move the body? You can sell a dead gazelle. It's only worth one buck. Put a couple slush booths down. Put an info booth down. All the real info that you need is that you can't leave. Ah, good sir. Come on in. Yes, it's a brand new day, man three. Why don't you have a little sit down inside of the park? It must be kind of weird being this girl over here. Seeing that the guy in front of her was just abducted, like, alien style, and dropped way ahead. I'm sure right now he's screaming. He's like, don't do it, run! Shut up. Get in there, girl. Here's the grandfather. You're getting stuck in there, too. At least you get to be with your kids. Here, since no gazelles want to drink, I'll put a freaking watering hole right there for you. Gazelle 4 has died of a disease. You know what the problem is? We don't have a vet. That's what the problem is. There. Put a vet over there. Here, you get to basically hold hands with this guy. There you go. What is she gonna do? She gonna pump him full of adrenaline? Lady, this gazelle is dead. I don't think it's... She did. It looks like she freaking injected it with something. It died of a disease. It died of exhaustion. This thing died twice over. Okay, it didn't just go through one death. It went through two. The people inside the park need something to play with. So, um... Here's an alligator. Here we go. Oh, that alligator is pissed. I don't know where it's going. Taking a beeline for the people. <laughs> yeah, you better get that cardio on. There you go, little girl. Run. Run. Let's see how quick you are. Let's see how quick those stubby legs will move you. Man, this alligator is freaking quick. Look at it. It's keeping everyone in such good shape. Will it ever run out of energy or will it chase everyone until the day it dies? I'm just going to leave that like that. I think that'll keep everyone moving around really good. Up, oh, a couple more individuals to throw into the park. Fantastic. <laughs> It's like a marathon. <laughs> Look at them all run from this thing. Oh, it's glorious. This alligator was the best thing I ever added to the inside of the human pen area. Hey, Grandpa 3, how you feeling? You having a good time? You enjoying yourself? <laughs> what the hell happened up here? What are they? What is? What is this? What are they eating? Oh my god. Gazelles are supposed to be like herbivores. This thing's eating its, its dead brethren. It's like PE class in school. See, everyone's running around the yard. The only difference is, is that, what, 
What what is this? Are you tripping or are you are you getting your ass kicked by the alligator? I think she's getting her ass kicked by the alligator. The only thing I was gonna say was the only difference is like if you fail, you don't get a bad grade, you die. I'm gonna put some water in just so that people don't have a, a ton of area to run through. Oh my god. Oh pfft. whoops. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Poor grandma and grandpa just fell into the water over here. There we go. I think that'll that'll keep everyone nice and moist. Got a couple more people coming into the park. Poor saps. I like that the crowd running from the alligator is getting bigger and bigger. The only difference is now they're running with stuff in their hands. Like this, this lady's got like a giant parfait in her hand and she will not drop it for anything. At this point, all of my gazelles have become cannibals. All right, listen, gazelles. Clearly you guys don't know how to get down once you're up here. So let me help her brother out. This poor derpy ass lion has been alone this entire time. He is really dealing with this like a champ though. There's a fighting toy. Looks like something you'd enjoy. That's right, everyone run. Run into the arms of Christo the Redenser or whatever it's called. Put down a couple souvenir shops. I don't really know who they're going to give the souvenirs to, considering they can't leave, but whatever. Oh, there is all kinds of new recruits out here today. Hold on. Oh no, my alligator fell ill with malnutrition. It never got to eat any of the people. This is so saddening. I'm not going to lie. I don't want this alligator to die. Um... Let me throw a vet in here. Unfortunately, lady, I had to put you in the water because it gives you the biggest spread to do stuff. There you go. There we go. <laughs> He's well again. <laughs> Look at the giant crowd of people. <laughs> the alligator got uh, got his daily injection over here. Everyone's, I don't know if those are, <laughs> the only problem with like this, this kind of like Minecrafty voxel based style is I can't tell if these are like candied apples or maracas. I'm not really sure. This guy either has like a salt shaker or like a baggie of cocaine in his hand. I don't know. Killed this alligator three different ways. <laughs> Everyone's probably so happy. Oh yeah. Well, guess what? Now y'all get a tiger. How about that? You freaking scumbags. I'm gonna put a sea lion in here since we have water inside. There we go. We got a couple more victims coming into the park. Fantastic. Oh, look, the tiger's already made a bunch of friends. The tiger doesn't really need the food. It does have the alligator carcass over here. I think it's just chasing people because it wants to have some fun. Here we go, an observation tower. This way everyone can observe all the people almost dying every five minutes. I think it's particularly interesting that everyone smiles no matter what. Even when they're being pursued by a, uh, by a tiger they don't really care this tiger is so over it he's not even chasing people anymore he's just kind of like slowly gallivanting maybe he's gonna pick up an ice cream oh finally decide to eat the dead body of the alligator i see where the hell do you think you're going man seven there's no out to the park i put an eiffel towel over here because why not i'm gonna put a fountain down too and a bunch of fire pillars can you put a fire pillar in the water uh sure they're magic fire pillars i think we need more animals there we go. Perfect. <laughs> this zookeeper is like, oh, Jesus, no. Now that we have a whole bunch of park goers that can't leave, um, what happens if I put a whole bunch of tigers here with everyone? Yes. Oh, it is friggin' pandemonium. Jesus. There's just tigers and bodies and people running all over the place. They're swimming in the water. This poor sea lion's probably having a freaking heart attack. This dude doesn't even know where to go. She's just like, ah, go to the north, go to the south, go to the north, go to the south. She finally decided to go this way. Girl 10, nothing to complain about. <laughs> How do you have nothing to complain about? You're surrounded by tigers. Oh, my elephants are dropping like flies. All right. Well, I think we made a hell of a park. We finally made a, a realm where people can come in, but no matter what, oh, hold on. They can't get out. Hey, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Zoo Constructor. Definitely not as good as Wildlife Park 3. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.